Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what kind of questions can come in SEBI IT phase two for the control flow of the program. So as you have seen that SEBI IT phase two syllabus and uh, the type of questions that can be asked in phase two has a clear mentioning of the control flow related stuff. So how the control flow of a program works what is the control flow of a program and how different type of questions can come what to expect from this particular area of question so i'm going to take one example with one type of question to make you understand what is a control flow of a program and before we go to that question first i would like to make you comfortable with the concept of what is control flow in a program so basically control flow in a program is the order in which the program's instructions are executed so as you all know that program is a set of instruction and uh, several lines will be there to make a particular program and control flow is actually the order in which these particular instructions are going to get executed so here it dictates the path the program is going to take as it runs determining which code blocks are executed and when they will be executed now in a nutshell how you break down the key aspects of the control flow so basically there are different type of control flows so in this slide you can see different uh, sorts of breakdown of the key aspects sequential execution control flow statement conditional statements looping jump statement and function call so all these parts are going to be converted in some sort of questions when it comes to the control flow of the program so when we say sequential execution it means there is no jumping of the control statement there are no function calls it means the control of the program flows sequentially when we have control flow statements it means there is a complex logic behind the scene and that comes through the conditional statements which are if else else if switch they can also come through the looping statement for while do while for each loop all these sort of things and also they can come from the jump statements break continue return go to because they will add a hint of the control flow which will go from any line to any line now the different things that can come into the picture are also related to the function calls so function calls will also be able to just divert the sequential flow of the execution and can make it a control flow so basically control flow is related to some control statement where the control of uh, the program will move from one piece of code to the another piece of the code now what sort of questions we can expect so the very first sort of theme that i'm going to bring you in this video is to identify the correct execution of the uh, pieces of the program so you might have a question like this now let's understand what is the theme of the question so the theme of the question is that you have to deal with searching operation in circular queue and answer the following question based on the idea of the searching in a circular queue so first of all it might be there in the exam that you have already been given a theme so that you understand understand how to order the pieces of the code or it might happen that they don't even offer you these kind of theme hints and they make the question more difficult and they ask you to order the code without even giving you an idea what the code is even doing because these are the first videos and very first in line video so i'm giving you theme as a hint to make you understand what sort of uh, uh, codes part you are going to have in the upcoming slides so we are going to talk about the searching operation in circular queue circular queue itself is a, a data structure which is difficult to understand and going through the code of circular queue itself is a big of a task so here you can see that i am asking you a question that which of the following sequence represent the correct order in which these parts should be combined to form a complete and a functional c++ program for a circular queue so there are four parts as you can see in the four options there are part one part two part three and part four and they are jumbled and you have to identify the correct order of execution so this is the very first part here you have a code Code which uh, is having these many lines and is being identified as part one you can pause the video i can have a look and understand what this particular part one is doing and then you have part two of the code and you can see what part two is doing and then you have part three and similarly you have part four so what you can do now is to pause and read the parts and try to put an analysis in place that what should be the correct order of execution when we are going to have a theme like to deal with the search operation in a circular queue so out of these four options one is going to be the correct so here the very first uh, uh, type of question which can come in the control flow will be 
be you will be given a program which is broken into several parts and now you have to combine those parts in a particular order that it gives you the correct output as per the theme so I have not given you the answer in the slides. Now you only have to solve it. You have to solve that which order of execution out of these four options is going to give you the correct order of execution for operation in a circular queue. So this is the question for you. I hope it will not be that tough for you to solve. You can pause the video wherever I have shown you part one, part two, part three and part four and then you can understand and then you can sort. Now, I will make more videos on other topics related to phase two for the content. We will bring you more questions on that. And if you like this video series, please do hit the like button and give us motivation to make more on that. Share it with your study group and let the content flow through the different IT aspirants for SEBI as well. You can subscribe to our channel by doing that. You will never miss an update from our side whenever we will bring some sort of videos which will help you to have an understanding related to SEBI IT or any other exam which is related to government sector. Now, still, if you have any question, you can mention that in the comment section or you can reach out to us at hello at examp.com or on the number which is flashed on the screen. To visit our offering, you can go to www.examp.com. There we have launched our course for the SEBI IT comprehensive one and you can have have a look so till the time i bring the next video keep practicing and stay updated